So happy Saturday. I am filming this tutorial on a Saturday and y'all know I don't be filming nothing on a Saturday. But I just got my ColourPop in the mail and I just could not wait and so because I really want to do this foundation. I I really wanted to do the, this review as soon as I got the package because I didn't want to be coming on camera and I already used the foundation so that would defeat the purpose of me giving my full review my first impressions so I decided to film this on a Saturday not that I'm doing that in any way but whatever so I bought the ColourPop new pro filter is it pro filter no filter setting powder in banana I got the foundation the new no filter foundation in the shade 190 if I'm not mistaken they do do they do a color match this better be my match too they do a color match on the website so any other I matched my foundation shade to my Fenty foundation shade so whatever foundation I, they have a bunch of foundations there so whatever foundation that you already have at home you can compare that shade you have into to theirs which is super good because there's a lot of times people order foundations concealers and it's hard to know your shade because sometimes the shade and the bottle you see online is not the same shade when you apply to your skin so that is dope I really uh, I F's with ColourPop for that and I have the no filter concealer so yeah we about to get into this face um if you're wondering what I used on my eyes I didn't do my eyes on camera because this is just a foundation this is just the ColourPop no filter collection um <laughs> um what you call that review so but I did use the ColourPop Time Shayla Perception Palette and if you want a tutorial on this look please let me know in the description box and I said the description box I keep getting my I can't get my love together please let me know in the comment section if you want to if you want a tutorial on this eye look I've been feeling very purpley purpley lately so we're going to just jump right into the tutorial i'm going to be using my fenty's pro filter um um i don't i can't get my words together today i'm going to be using my fenty beauties pro filter face primer i love this primer i've been loving this primer like foundation first of course and I'm gonna use um they say use a brush on one side and then use a finger on the other um I mean <laughs> I think that's half a day <laughs> let me see if this is open okay it's open I like the packaging but I don't why did it come with a top like I don't know was it supposed to come with a top I don't know I'm gonna look up this foundation again and see if did it come with a top because I don't see no top whatsoever um so I'm gonna just go in with it on my skin Oh, it locks. Okay, ColourPop, it locks. Makes sense, okay. Okay, we're gonna put on a beauty blender first. It seems a little watery, it's not as, um, what you call that? It's not stiff, which is a good thing. Let's see if this, this is looking a little orangey. Okay, let's see. Is this my shade? We gonna see. We gonna see if this is my shade, though. We gonna see. I'm upset. I will be if this is not my damn shade. Okay, it's, 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 it's matching me or whatever. Gives me a little red orangey undertones, but that's usually what I use anyway, so that's nothing new. Really not trying to wipe them off. It took me a long time to get them on. This is looking um, what you call that? It's comfortable on the skin. I don't feel like heavy 
It doesn't give me a heavy feeling. It's like super light. It's like super light. Um, it's giving me a somewhat of a glow, which is fine. Like, I mean, um, I have oily too. Oil, I'm oily to oily. That's how real it is. Like, I have very oily skin. So, this doesn't give me, like, um, it gives me a little glow. But I don't know if I'm going to be grease ball. But... Oh, I know I forgot. See, I was so excited. I forgot to put my little prime, my little prepping blur on. Okay, I'm liking it. So now we're gonna go into the concealer. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the pro filter. Sorry, I keep saying pro filter. Where I get pro filter from? <laughs> this, the no filter concealer. This is in the shade deep dark, but I saw online that it used to be golden sixty. So they actually changed the shade. Um, name of it. So we're gonna sit. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Okay. So this is my shade. I could use this. I could definitely use this. This smells like concealer. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, it smells like shark. A uh, shark. <laughs> um, tart shape tape a little bit. I'm not insinuating anything, but that's just, it's just, that's just how it smells. The applicator is cute. It moves with you. It's cute. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's better. And <laughs> we don't get the forehead. And we don't get these laugh lines. Because we don't, we be laughing. <laughs> we always laughing. Okay, so I'm going to just take my beauty blender and just blend that out. Okay, as for the concealer, it blended out super nice. Um... If my under eye looks very moisturized, it's not, um, sometimes some concealers can be super dry and it makes you crease, especially after you apply powder on top, but, um, so far I am liking the concealer. It gives me a nice radiance in my eyes, cause, um, not that I tend to get dry eye, I used to get dry eye a lot before I started using eye cream, um, when it comes to my skincare, I'm going to link all my skincare in the description box. But I like this concealer because it gives me a nice, I don't know, but I really am I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. So we're going to set with the ColourPop No Filter. Oh, wow. The ColourPop No Filter um, setting powder. I have the shade Banana. I like translucent, but the only translucent I use is my Laura Mercier, and those that's the only translucent one I trust. So I decided to get banana, get me a little tint. I really hope this works. So I'm not looking for a new setting powder. Oh, nobody saw that. <laughs> it just popped out. Like, pop, pop, pop. Okay, what was I gonna do? Oh, my beauty blender. Okay, so I'm gonna just put some on my beauty blender. And then yeah, set that under there. No. Like, for real, stop playing. Okay, this is the eye with the powder. This is the eye without. Can y'all tell? I can't really tell. Well, I could tell a little bit. I guess because it's my face. But I cannot tell. This powder, oh. Stop playing. Wow. Like, who did this? 
and it's giving me like when I put it over my pores. Hold on, y'all. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. When I put it over my pores, it like minimizes them. Like, what? Honey, child. Honey, bunny. Okay, let me just set, set the rest of my face. Ooh, this one good. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna do my contour, my highlights. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. foundation is a bomb like let me just tell you like I just look I feel like I look so freaking smooth like I just look so freaking smooth I look so freaking flawless it's not even funny like like color pop what y'all trying to do to me y'all trying to give me a heart attack are y'all trying to give me a heart attack like yo this foundation is lit this foundation matches me perfectly, by the way, by the way, and I didn't have to use a lot, I just can't, like, I have, I'm lost for words, like, I mean, you know, it's just crazy because it's, this came out so freaking bomb, so lit, like, it feels like I'm just, like, I don't know. And it's just so bomb, and I freaking love it so much. But I don't want to be too hyped because I didn't wear it yet. But I'm not going to come back on camera to let you know how it wore. I'm going to just continue this in another video and let you guys know because I'm going to use it again. Especially with different concealers, different powders. Y'all know, know how I do if you've been on this channel for a very long time. Now... This concealer, um, it glides on super nice. I love the applicator. It matches me perfectly. I end up getting my shade because I watched Jackie Ina's video when she did the ColourPop concealer review. And me and her um, are somewhat the same shade. So I was like, I trust her. <laughs> so I that's how I got my shade. But the only thing about this, they changed the name of the shade. Um, She had... 60 golden and it this changed to dark 46 so it took me a while to really find my shade for the simple fact is I'm looking for 60 golden and 60 golden is non-existent it's still the name of it is non-existent but they still have the shade so if you get what I'm saying I like this concealer it blends out super nice matches me perfectly and I love the applicator it moves with you it's like a flexible applicator let me just take it off the box. And again, I'm in dark 46. If me and you are the same complexion and you decide to want you want to purchase it, then I am in dark 46. I love the applicator and moves with you, which is good. Because you know you want to get in the crevices, you know. But this um I heard a lot about this um concealer. I'm super late on the bandwagon, but you know, I don't like buying things that I'm not gonna like. I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to review products. I just don't like reviewing stuff that I don't like. Like, if I review and I don't like it, I'd be so upset because I really want everything to work. But that's not always the case. The concealer is bomb. I like. I decided to get everything together because I wanted to really get the full effect of the foundation. Because if you get the foundation with the concealer and the powder, then you can't go wrong. Now, as far as the powder, I have the shade Banana. This powder, let me just tell y'all. This powder did not settle in my fine lines. Let me just tell y'all right now. Let me just tell y'all right now. This powder did not settle in my fine lines. And it gave me a nice radiancy. It wasn't too watery. But it gave me a nice, creamy consistency. Very radiant. It didn't make my under eyes dry. Also, it actually, like gave me full coverage like I have a concealer that's radiant but it doesn't give me full coverage which is kind of annoying usually the concealers that give you full coverage are drying and it's like it shouldn't have to be one or the other if it's drying full coverage 
if it's radiant full coverage if it's medium radiant full coverage so I really like this concealer to me it smells like the shots the Tarte Shape Tape which is fine I mean you know no beef no beef no shade no tea okay overall I love these products I'm happy that I love them I also did this eye look with the Shayla Times ColourPop Perception Palette and if you want to see this eye look let me know in the comment section because I will definitely do a separate video on this look. It was super easy. You guys made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys so much for clicking this video, sharing this video. All the people that comment under my videos, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. Also, hit that notification button. Please, please, please hit that notification button so you can notify every time I upload. I don't want you to miss none of the good stuff that I'm going to be uploading on this channel. If y'all have any content any content suggestions please let a system know because sometimes i am lost in the source okay oh yeah see y'all guys in the next video laters